You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to our continuing coverage here at CES 2014. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie, I'm back. We're back with a vengeance. Absolutely. Like I said, you can't quit me, John. I don't know why you left me to start with. I apologize. Uh, I had to do a thing with the thing. No, don't, let's not make it awkward. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you're back because we have a very special guest. We absolutely do. Someone who is close to the hearts of every Apple enthusiast in the world. That is true. We've got Andrew from 12 South. Hey, nice to see you guys. How's it going, Andrew? How's it going, Renee? Hey, where did the name 12 South come from? 12 South actually is a neighborhood in Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. Where um, some of the ideas that started the company uh, was originated as well. So. By the way, Ken's over here uh, waving around his his, uh, his book book. That's right. Yeah, Something like that. He said that that is his entire wallet now. He will not. That that's all he carries. The book book wallet is a is a life changer for some people because it kind of puts their whole world together. It takes them down from three things in the morning: the wallet, the keys, the phone, and go to the book, book, keys, and go. You'd nice. need an iPad to fit your wallet, John. Right, <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> so what, you have been doing the book, book series for a while now. You started with iPhones. I have seen them for iPads. I have seen them for Macs. I call it the Tome Tome yeah. for the Mac because it's so big. Uh, what did you get the idea? We used the to use the 17 inch one. We, when we did the, the live show, yeah. you guys sent us the big seven, because we didn't want to show off our big 17 inch like uh, Max, because frankly, Apple doesn't pay for sponsorship. <laughs> nice. So we, we used our book book to cover it up. Yeah. Um, the book book is a, has been a great success for us. Uh, we got the idea actually hanging out with the um, uh, Apple geniuses in their stores. They said that the uh, neoprene cases were like a, a, like a, a false security. Yeah. They um, didn't really have any crush protection, and they were a theft magnet. So 12 South is actually from Charleston, South Carolina, one of the most historically preserved cities, certainly in the southeast. Um, Beautiful area. Absolutely. It's, it's amazing. I think Condé Nast Traveler's number one city in the world right now. Wow. Which is nuts. Yeah. But I digress. Um, the, the, so we were in the middle of Charleston in this old city with this like new vibe, the College of Charleston and the, the Apple Store and stuff like that. So we had a crazy idea to make a case for the MacBook that looked like an old book. And so we researched it in Charleston. We bought some old books. We looked at how they weathered over 150, 200 years. And we kind of investigated that. And then we bought a big book and carved <laughs> out a hole in it Nice to try it, right? And so it was really cool. So the very first uh, book book that we did um, was actually launched here at CES in 2010. Um, and it was for the MacBooks. So um, 12 South actually is, is Apple exclusive. And we also are, are, are Mac exclusive at heart. So the very first book book that has led to the ones for the iPad and now the ones for the iPhone, the whole wallet thing, started off as a MacBook case like the one you used on the show. What's that like being exclusive to Apple? Because, I mean, let's face it, there are so many more Windows machines, so many more Android phones out there. What do you get about being so specific to that platform? Well, if you're going to put all your eggs in one basket, it's certainly the right basket. But beyond that, we started 12 South to focus on the, the Mac computer because nobody else was really doing a good job of it. We were passionate about the platform, and we saw millions of people like you know uh, joining the Apple ecosystem through an iPod, through an iPhone, uh, and then the iPad. And then they would turn and get their MacBook, and and their accessories were all Me Too crap. Yeah, they were um, called Mac friendly. <laughs> and so our, the first thing we did when we started 12 South is that we are Mac only. We're yeah. not Mac friendly. It's funny because it, we forget how quickly forget, we forget these things. A few years ago. If you were a Mac enthusiast, if you just were a normal Mac user and you wanted a friggin' mouse or something, <laughs> you know, you'd go searching for something compatible with your right. device. And now there's this whole ecosystem that services that market that's exclusive to it or primarily developed it for it. And there's been kind of a reversal. Now there are people who go, well, why can't I get that for my Windows or for my Android or whatever? You know, they're starting to desire what's in that marketplace. Well, as far as developing for MacBooks and iMacs and stuff like that, there still are too few of those, which is fine with us. That's yeah. our specialty, right? Um, I, I think um, when you sit in a corporate boardroom and you chase the money, you chase the iOS stuff and mobility, uh, and that's not why we're in it. We're in it to do um, innovative accessories 
for Apple hardware. And we won't do an idea unless it brings something kind of new to the table. And we love it when a Windows person uh, approaches us and says, I'd like to get that for mine, and we say, well, then get a Mac. Nice. You, you are for the crazy ones. We are the crazy ones. And by the <laughs> way, we, we were talking about like uh, you know cases and things like that, but that's not all you do. No, not in the slightest. In fact, our first two products was a, a book arc, mm -hmm. which is like a clothes stand for, for the MacBook. And so what's cool about the book arc is that it actually often teaches a person something new about their MacBook. Uh, people get a MacBook and use it like a laptop, which is you know, obviously what it's designed for. But more often than not, it's their primary machine. So when they're at their office or at their desk, um, they can actually dock it, connect a large external monitor, their favorite keyboard and mouse, and have a desktop experience from a MacBook. So, but a lot of folks don't still know that you can do this kind of thing and have the best of both worlds. Turn your MacBook into a desktop uh, when you're at your, your, your home or office, and then use it like the amazing notebook that it is on the go. And so the book arc invites that discussion and often teaches a customer that they can like use their MacBook like a desktop at home. I used to have one in my room when Apple still made front row and the remote control yeah. and the monitor across the thing, and that's how I'd watch TV in my room. Oh, it's a great cradle to like uh, do all of the streaming stuff uh, in your home theater as well. And so the book arc was our very first product. The backpack, this really like nichey, nichey little shelf that goes on the back of iMacs and cinema displays. And um, yeah, I, I would say 60, 70% of our stuff is, is, is non soft goods, non cases, and really kind of really cool stuff uh, for um, the MacBook and the iPhone and the iPad. It's sort of like a geek will say, I, I just wish I could have this, I just need this for my setup, and you look and 12 South has likely made that thing. That's because we were the geek that said that. <laughs> we just took the next step and made it. You guys also have an interesting company because you're not like thousands of people, you know. Do you, you, you tell us about how your company is organized. Yeah, no. So we're about a dozen people still, uh, which works well with the name Twelve South, yeah. right? <laughs> no, we're, we're a couple more than that. That's we it. We're a, never hiring. I know. <laughs> Anybody you gotta else, go. You're the yeah, eleven you South. In, you just right? made it in. <laughs> no, listen. We really um, pride ourselves on being small and boutiquey, and I think it's really key to innovation, right? So uh, previous experience that I brought to the table with 12 South was actually working for DLO, this company that made a zillion cases for the iPod. And then before that, I actually entered the industry at Griffin Technology. Yeah. So both those companies are, are quite large companies, and DLO was before they sold to Philips. And the bigger you got, the less innovation you could do because you had to feed a bigger dragon, yeah. right? Um, when you're in big box and, and when you have to like, you know, fulfill sales quotas, you've got to make the, the black one for the middle of the road. Yes. And so the larger you got, the less innovative you got. And so 12 South's mission is to stay small on purpose so that we can like spend all of our time innovating and actually do stuff that, that might appeal to a much smaller segment of customers. But if we stay small, keep the overhead low, we can afford to innovate. Yep. And if we have the occasional hit that goes crazy, we'll manage that as well, and, and we'll be glad to take it. But if we stay small, we can still afford the risk of innovation. So let me ask you this. Apple comes out with a new product. Like for example, the, Mac, the uh, iPad Air, brand new. Yeah. How do you guys approach that? Like what's, do you take the existing product? Do you spend some time with it? What's your process for making these things? Well, so um, we actually look at our family of products first, right? So we've been fortunate enough to create a family of book books. And our customers actually are waiting for their book book you know, when, when Apple does a new device for it, which is, is a blessing. It, it's an amazing thing to do. Um, however, I will say that we actually don't take any guesses. We, um, we don't really want to be first to market, we want to be best. And so we get the device, we use it, and we make sure that what we make for it, whether it's a book book, whether it's anything else, is really perfect for it because we actually used it. I, uh, we're not one of those companies that's going to sell a personal product that we haven't actually used with the device that it's made for. So when we get new Apple hardware, um, it's always inspiring. Um, and we look at you know, e either what some of our family of products can add to it, or what new that we need to make that um, really kind of lets it fit into a person's world. Nice. So when you, one of the things I wanted to ask you too is, yeah. I've got like the, the high rise stand, I've got several of the things, you know, the one that holds the iPad next to your Mac. Oh, the uh, hover bar. The hover bar, exactly. Yeah. The finishes look like Apple finishes. I mean, bead blasted aluminum, I could not make that in my garage. How do you get it to match so closely? Uh, just a lot of iterating, which I think is like doing it over and over and yeah. over again. I so think you just that's say no definition. until they get it right? Something like that. <laughs> I mean, actually, you know, we, we've got the formula down. Um, we're inspired by Apple and we're inspired by design. We try and, and not 
you know, uh, duplicate it, we try and make it complementary. But obviously, playing in that amazing high-level, um, you know, playing field, we um, are inspired by them and, and, and match and coordinate with the stuff pretty well. So what do you guys have planned for 2014? I know maybe you can't do too many spoilers, but I did see you playing around with some stuff in the back. Nobody's watching this. No. You can just tell us anything, really. Me and John. So, no, no, uh, so we have some amazing ideas for 2014, and I have a couple of them here. It's a, a quick preview. Really? They, yeah, well, you know. The first one, actually, uh, everyone is waiting for, and it's what we were just talking about. This is the new book book for the iPad Air. Nice. And so it's going to be coming out in just a couple of weeks. There's a sign up on our website for it, and there's thousands of people waiting for their book book for iPad Air. Nice. So like the other ones, it you know it, it's got you know the design that looks like a a um, book a book, and it even says book book. T and South. Yes, yeah, I love by, that author, uh, Mr. South. <laughs> so you open it up and you fold it over, and uh, you, you've got your iPad. So it, it leaves the screen pretty wide open. It's got an interior frame that supports it. So we don't snap into the exterior. We put an interior frame to hold it so the exterior can be um, uh, just completely separate Absolutely. from that. That allows us to also release this and create a display, a hands-free display. What's cool about this is this is very, very stable. This is not like the folded up yes. kind of origami thing that can like tilt over with a when with you're the, on the airplane breeze, with right? the tray, you would drink Correct. Next this to is it. a very, very stable display that's also able to adjust in the lighting to get it just right. Perfect. And then you flip it over and you've got your typing angle, which I use really a lot more than I thought I would. I kind of set this on my desk and kind of watch my favorite apps and, and you know, do stuff like that, interface with Photoshop with it, which is really cool. Um, so it's fully functional apart from the shtick of the book book thing. The there's other something thing, amazing about taking something so modern and putting it in something so traditional. Well, I'll tell you what that gives from a functionality standpoint, and that is security. So when we did it and it looks like an old book, that was kind of a, a fun thing to do. But what we found very quickly is, is that it disguised it. So customers would call us and tell us that they accidentally left their book book in a coffee shop, came back hours later, and it was still there. And we were like, oh my gosh, that's, that's amazing. And then this lady wrote us in and showed us pictures of her house that had gotten robbed and ransacked. And they sold everything, her Xbox, her, her, her other equipment. But that old, dirty book on the uh, nice. <laughs> coffee table was still there. And it really saved her world. That's amazing. So what we've learned is, is that the, the look of a book in the book yeah. book is a true security feature and actually has saved a lot of people's hardware for that. And that's, that's really cool. I don't know that there's a lot of other cases that can say that, that they help they prevent claimed, yeah. theft. Like mosquito repellent for crooks. Right. <laughs> now yeah, you said book. you had a couple of things. Is this one of them or do this you have one. another one? I have another preview for you. All right. Uh, and it's the complete opposite. So um, we came out with the Surface Pad for iPhone um, about this time yes. last year. And it is a super thin, minimal, minimal um, case for your iPhone. It's really the case for iPhone for people who don't like cases. Yeah. Because you fold it around. John, you were there. I we remember when it. we were there. And it was, That's right. And it's beautiful and I love it. One of the first questions that we got is, where's the one for the iPad mini? Mm -hmm. And it took us, I don't know, a year, but um, we, we have the one available for but that. But it's coming out. Yes, it's going to be out in just a few weeks. Um, wow. The cool thing about the Surface Pad for iPad mini, number one, is that it's tiny, right? This is less than a tenth of an inch thick on both sides. The other thing is, is that the top of it is this smooth front cover. You know, you forget how clean like a smooth front cover is because many of the covers, including Apple's, has all these like, yep. you know, origami slices in it, right? To do their little fold up stuff. But when you see this front smooth cover, you're like, that's elegant, that's beautiful, that's minimalist and smooth. And it's, it's because it's just this smooth design, we do the functionality in a different way. So when you open it up and fold it over, um, it's got uh, the uh, instant on, the, the smart on yep. feature uh, in the cover built in. And then you fold it over and you know, you're holding your iPad mini, right? You don't see a case really kind of getting in the way of your beautiful no. device. That's why you Cupertino. bought it, because it was small and light and thin. Exactly, right? Um, so we also add a display angle with this little magic trick that's kind of cool. You slide it up and boom. Locks into place. It hits that's a very cool. It has a low and a high. And so there's that's no kind cool. of like, you know, uh, Messy no stuff on the indentations. Inside. Right, we do it with magnets. That's amazing. Right, so um, that's has brilliant. Actually, two angles of that, keeping it nice and clean, and then you can flip it down and you flip out this little kickstand, and you've got your typing angle. Why must you do things that make Johnny Ive cry? Yeah, because um, Johnny Ive inspires us. <laughs> there Beautiful. you go. So we're just trying to uh, honor the Give device as back. he does. So Fantastic. a couple of quick questions because we're way over time. But yeah, when, man. When uh, so do we have a date and projected? 
project projected date of release and pricing, or just go to the website and sign up for notification when they come out? Um, this, they're all in the next couple of weeks. Oh. I hesitate because I'm always optimistic, right? I thought you were going to so, say. I thought you were going to say the next few months. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said weeks. So what's funny is, is that whenever that question pops up, I always like look towards the, the president of the company and my uh, wife and co-founder uh -huh. Leanne <laughs> because I give a very optimistic. Thing. And then and you get in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, yeah. And then I go, is my wife here? <laughs> but the answer is She's very soon. right there. Very soon. Yeah, yeah, so totally. It, it is very soon, okay. actually. It's um, before springtime. Good. Boom. So you guys Set are going to let all of us know, and then we can share with everybody else, okay, today it's ready. Oh, my gosh. You guys will have it on the, on the day it's ready to go. Awesome. Perfect. And Perfect. typically, we actually don't pre-announce stuff because we like announcing it when a person can get their Absolutely. hands on it. Absolutely, yeah. So um, kind of like following Apple's tip, we really kind of keep stuff close to the vest so it's ready to be put in your hands too. Good, good. Yeah, well, I people like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We always love oh, everybody. It's, it's, it's like a, a giant pleasure. love fest. I don't this know. Is, this is a love fest for sure. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you, Andrew. Andrew. Nice okay, guys. You Absolutely. You guys stick around. We got a lot more coverage coming here live at CES. He's Renee. He's John. We're out of here. See ya.